All right, chickens. So, let me show you what I got a couple of days ago at the market. Some winter onion, red ones, some shallots, another winter onion, white ones. And let me show you like this some garlic to plant. It's time right now, so we are going to plant these in the garden, but I'm afraid it's not gonna be for today because naughty me. I thought I had a third one. Yeah, I do. I have a third one. Because Naughty Me hasn't been in this garden since she sprayed her ankle. Oh, look, we have some company. Hello there. How are you? That has been quite the time since, since I've seen you. This is not my cat, people. This is a cat from some of our neighbors, and I don't know where he or she comes from, but this cat comes up to say hello every so often, and that really makes my day. I do have a cat, but he is a very old cat, 22 years old, 23, and um, he is wild, actually. I can feed him, but I cannot touch him. But this cat, I can touch and I can cuddle, as you can see, he or she loves it, but I have no idea which one of my neighbors he belongs to. So if you are my neighbor and this is your cat, just make sure that he comes over and visits me regularly because I love petting cats, animals in general. He's such a cutie. He is such a cutie, or she, I don't know. Oh, I, yeah, I like you too. I like you too. Yeah. Oh. Well, let me put my phone down for a minute and cuddle this lovely cat. And then I'll show you what has been going on in the garden. Because I haven't been in the garden since, what was it, August? So, so far for this cuddle intervention, but first things first, obviously, cuddles always have a priority on work, aren't I right? This is uh, the big garden, as you can see. Nothing has changed since I last took care of it and basically sprayed my ankle. So, let's take a look around. We have here the borage which is still blooming although we did have a little bit of frost the other night but still going so I'm gonna try to get some seed from that and here we have some food for the chickens You still want cuddles? You still need some cuddles? Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I kind of like this. Makes my day. We have <laughs> some more um, food for chickens. As you can see, they're all eaten. And they're not eaten by the rats, I think, because we do have chickens here that are 
escaping. As you know, we have tried to make a fence and this fence is finished, but it hasn't been straightened out, as you can see. Still haven't, haven't got the time to do that. And then we will make a fence just like this one over here and another one over here. But that's still a work in progress. And sometimes we do have chickens that come over to the garden. And as long as that's the case, I am not going to put my onions here because then they will be lost. So today I will be cleaning up a little bit here. All chicken food. Now I do still have my big ones here. The big yellow one as you remember and the big green one. I kept them for, for seed and as you can see I'm just in time because this one is starting to decompose so I'm going to harvest them as well and get the seeds out, let them dry. Obviously I have some cabbage growing and some Swiss chard still growing and this one is my pride and joy right now although it doesn't look like that but it is because this is the only Swiss chard that actually started to bloom. That means that this is the only Swiss chard that I am going to be able to get some seeds from which makes me extremely happy because it's not that easy to get them in bloom. But this one will provide me with a lot of seeds for next year. One more cabbage ready, very ready, but I don't have space in the freezer right now, so it'll just have to wait. Some more lovely cabbages here, ready to eat. Some Swiss chard that has been completely destroyed by the insects and that's okay we'll give that to the chickens or to the rabbits because they like that too as you can see my stingy nettle still growing strong some more swiss chard here white and then we have one beautiful if i may say so cauliflower <laughs> Oh Lord, cauliflower is hard to grow here. It just doesn't do well, but that's okay. Chickens like that too. And that's about it, I guess, so far. So I'm going to try to clean up a little bit today and make some room to get my onions growing and my garlic. The only thing is that I do not know at this point in time where to put them because I think I'm going to make uh, some kind of door here to enter the chicken coop, that part of the chicken coop and I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do the same there and the same here because if I, I can access that chicken coop through this chicken coop and that would be better than I could have more space for my garden. But I also want the access to the chicken coops easy because we're not getting any younger here. So I'm just not sure at this point in time where the pathways will go. There's definitely a pathway going here, so I'm not going to plant anything here for the moment. But the rest is still, I don't know, under discussion. I don't know yet how it's going to be. But time will bring the answer to me. And for now, the only thing I want to do is clean up as much as possible. So, 
let's get started. But before we start our cleanup, I just want to show you my little carrots because I still have little carrots here too. And they can survive in the winter, obviously. But they're not that big. So I guess I'm just gonna feed them to the rabbits one of these days. Oh, maybe we do have a big one here. Let's see. Oh, stingy nettle, stingy nettle. Always, when I go to the garden, I have problems with stingy nettle. This one looks quite big, actually. Let's see. Let's see. We have, oh, now we have, oh yeah, well, a red one, an orange one. Yeah, definitely, definitely stuff for the rabbits because they didn't grow very nice as you can see but that's okay I'm good with that um, it's the first year that I've been doing this so it's all good it's all food for rabbits and chickens where did I put that oh here let's get that to a rabbit to show you here's my devil's thorn apple as you can see a lot a lot a huge amount of pots beautiful 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 plant but I'm lifting it up right now because it fell over and the stem is not broken as you can see so I'm going to leave it lying down on the ground for a little while because this plant has found a new owner. I will obviously take all of the seed pots and once I have harvested them then this plant will move and get a new home with my neighbor. As you can see one of the seed pots is opening so I have to do that one of these days because the seeds are ready 
and then I will dig this beauty out, root and all, and make my neighbor hopefully very happy. So the chickens are enjoying their afternoon snack. I got rid of most of the zucchinis and the pickles and the cucumbers. Now, next up are these two bad boys, the yellow one and the green one. I'm gonna take them in and get the seeds out and whatever is left over is obviously once again for the chickens. They're gonna have a field day today. like when you leave a zucchini out until far in the autumn. I think it's still very edible. It's still soft so yeah you can still make something out of it but I promised the chickens to give them these so I'm going to take out the seeds and then the chickens will be happy with the meat. to bother with soaking these in water because I have so many seeds um, whatever I cannot get out I will gladly give to the chickens it's healthy for them as well those seeds so but if you want to you can basically soak all of this in water and then uh, the seeds will come out very easily Going to rinse them now and uh, label them because the yellow ones will look exactly the same. And then I will let them dry inside the house for a couple of days before I put them away for next year. Obviously, I don't know at this point in time whether these are true seeds because the yellow uh, zucchinis and the green zucchinis were very close to each other and they could have mixed their genes up but uh, only time will tell that uh, I'm going to plant these next year and we will see what happened if we can get edible zucchinis out of these or not There's a few that want to see my cat. Here's my cat. 22 years and counting. As you can see, he 
he's always very careful when I'm around. You can't hug him, unfortunately. But he comes for his meals every morning and every evening. And even now, late in the afternoon. So this is the last bit of the yellow seeds. Well, the seeds of the yellow zucchini because the seeds are obviously not yellow and I'll show you the seeds of the green zucchini in a minute compare them and as you will see there is no difference whatsoever so labeling these right away is extremely important because once the containers get get uh, mixed up there's no way to tell which one is which. Obviously you could use two separate containers that are not identical, but I didn't think of that. And by the way, I already made my labels. So it's not gonna be difficult. This looks about ready. Whatever's left in there is for the chickens. So let me get my other container. This is the yellow zucchini and this is the green zucchini. So, as you can see, the green ones do seem a tiny bit bigger, but obviously the zucchini was bigger as well. So I'm gonna wash them now and give them a nice place in the sun. Not bad for an afternoon's work. And obviously this is going to go to the chickens. I hope to see you uh, again soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully see you next time. Mm -hmm.